want to say that something here for hand crafts. And you know what? This actually is Monday. Maker's Monday. This is my second time making this video. I did it a couple days ago. And then I realized at the end that you can see my, my sandals in the picture. So I'm trying this again. Now, it's been a year since I changed from Four Square Micro Farm to Something Beautiful Hand Crafts. And I'm really just now getting used to saying that. Today for Maker's Monday, this is kind of like my own little mini commercial. And I want to show you how to card, sort of card, the merino uh, wool I have in my extra shop. I'm not sure how many of you all might be familiar with Morningstar uh, Fiber Mill. It closed a little while ago and I was able to get several pounds of merino from JC. It came like this. It's been washed, scoured, and dyed. Now this merino is all from U.S. small growers and it was milled in Ohio. You can see the staple length is pretty decent. It, it's kind of random between two to four inches roughly depending on what I grab. It's all very fine merino so this is really nice quality stuff and it just needs to be carded or for, for whatever purposes you're going to use it. So let me give you an example. Now I'm going to do my usual how I just kind of lay it down on the hand carter. Okay, see, look at that. Nice and easy. You don't want to overload the carter, of course. And now, just a nice, gentle So I'm nice and transferred. Well, just that little spot right there. I'm just going to lift that off. Bam. See, there we are. Nice and transferred. Okay. Look at it. It's beautiful. Except for that, but don't look at that. This is from the Jacob I was carding before it. So it's just a little dark spot in there. That, is, that does not reflect on the actual wool here. And so, of course, you can roll it with the dowel, which I have somewhere, which is really not important. Or you can just pretty much flick it off. And bam. Now you have something that you can spin from and I only took basically two passes and there you go now here it is from the drum carter and um, I'm selling it in my Etsy shop for I think it was $15 a pound I think so for the uncarded I'm going to make a few bats Oh, this is a little piece of uh, fabric from the pin cushions I was making. That's a totally different video. Anyway, here it is, drum carded. Look how nice that is. This is the first pass. I'm going to blend it with some silk, a uh, little bit of Angelina, and some Angora Rabbit. Not necessarily all in the same bat. And it worked over quite nicely on the drum carter here. Oh, it's a little shaky. There we go. Uh, I also have it in, this is kind of like a burgundy maroon type. There's a red, a heathered, and a mixed kind of bluish reddish 
just visit my Etsy stop and you'll be able to uh, see what is there. And I'll have it up as long as supplies last. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you everyone for watching. Visit my Etsy shop. You'll find the link below and have a great day.